It's time for Pete's Will at Work. We take experiments that you might have seen and we see if they really work and how easy they are. And then we rank them with one to five beakers. My assistant is Rachel Monick. There you go. And today's experiment, all you need is one of these things. Now, actually, I, I bought this from a website, and I always talk about this guy because I think it's pretty cool. Steve Spangler, he does a lot of the experiments on, on The Ellen Show, and he's got a great website, and I'll have a link to that on our website. But okay. these things are sold on that website. They're just like giant balloons, but you can also go out and buy a diaper genie uh, refill. Yeah. Remember those big yes. bags? Yeah. And then just cut them off and make them real big, you know, about as tall as you. Okay. The diaper genie bags aren't separated though? I th they might be. They might but be. But they're I'm big sure. enough to do this thing. Yeah, and, okay. and this one, when you get them, you get multicolors and stuff if you go through his website. But so you have uh, openings on either side. So what you want to do is you want to put a knot in one side. And Rachel, ah. I'm going to ask you if you, because I think I can blow this bag up in one breath. Do you now? Yes. So why don't you try and see how you do. And doing. embarrass myself. No, you go ahead and do it. Okay, I'm just going to try and blow just it up. Just put it right, right up to your mouth, okay? One. <laughs> Two. It's gotten there. It's okay. Are you feeling a little bit lightheaded? Three. What, well, you see, you see, <laughs> you okay? <laughs> you see it take a long time to do, right? Yeah. All right. So there's but some, I, 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 I sort of got there. You did. And probably you get it 10, 15 breaths. Yeah, I, I don't know I if I'd make it that far, though. But I there's an easier way there. to do it, and I'll show you how I can do it in one breath, all right? I got some lipstick on there. Is that That's okay, your because experiment? I'm going to keep my mouth about 10 inches away from Excuse the bag. Excuse me? Keep my mouth 10 inches away from the bag, and that will help in getting the wind in there, and I'll show really? you why. Okay. Yeah. Could you go out just a little bit here? But then I, just, I won't be on TV. That's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Hold that. And Woo! Oh, is that cool, Pete? Well, see, isn't it? Yes. It'd have been cooler if I was standing here. Well, oh, hi, thank you. <laughs> so let's do it one more time. Can we? I, I'll tell you what. You do it. All right. Put your put Ooh. your mouth. And this all has to do with the Bernoulli principle. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Mr. Bernoulli. You, okay, go man, ahead. It looks Ten so inches easy. away and, and go blow? right in the middle, and then grab it, cinch it. There you. Well, yeah. well okay. Let me one try more again. time. You can. It takes practice. Perfect. <gasps> Look at that. Hold it together now. That Hold is it really fun. So it does work. And a guy named Bernoulli did this experiment back in the 1700s. He realized that fast... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'll get to that. You just stay here. Fast moving air leads to low pressure. So what's happening is the faster you blow into that thing, if your mouth is away from it, you're using the atmosphere, the whole air in the atmosphere to go, because high pressure goes to low pressure. It follows that low pressure in. So you're using all the air in the atmosphere to help you blow that balloon up. Or that, that is super yeah. cool. And what's really cool about this, I do this in... Uh, classrooms and stuff you can make little characters oh, on I didn't know there was a little yeah, thing in there and he gave it to the kids and this is the Bernoulli principle so here's principal Bernoulli that there he is. is so fun yeah isn't it or you can you can go like Let this you can use oh. swords you know you go like this <laughs> come on Rachel come on let's oh, go I Not give it four really. I oh well that's all right no, I, wait. um giving the kids Ideas. Good ideas. I yes. give it four beakers because it's an easy experiment to do. You can do it with the diaper genie bags. <laughs> it really does get the point across. Thanks, Rachel. It's four beakers. Yes, it is. Bravo, Professor Petoniak. Thank you so much, I Rachel. I really Monica. had fun with that one. Good. And we'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. You can keep practicing if you want. Oh, great.